All right, friends. I want you to join me up at the front, and I'm staying the front because I don't want your hands on your manipulatives. Just our bodies. Just your bodies for just a second. We are having a misnomer, and let me tell you what a misnomer is. It's a misunderstanding. A lot of us are having it, and a lot of us are intelligent, smart people, but we're tripped up by our numbers. I told Mariana a story about making a sandwich for her brother, Emiliano and her. And, then, and uh, Mariana made the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and she thought, if I have to share it with Emiliano, we're each going to get what? Half. Half. So, not very well. Mariana cuts it into half. Okay? Then Emiliano throws the best fit that little brothers can throw, and he says, I don't just want one piece. I want two pieces. So, then she so Mariana says, fine. And she cuts it like this. How many is Mariana going to get now? Two. She's going to get two pieces out of what? Four. And how much is Emiliano going to get? Two, two fours. Okay, now, did anything change? No. About the amount of food she's going to get? No. Mariana's going to get this much. Okay, now look. Is this the same as this? Yeah. But this number's bigger. Because it's just pieces. smaller pieces. The pieces are smaller. And the okay, the so what if he had another fit? What if Emiliano said, I don't want my sandwich cut into two pieces, Mariana. I want my sandwich cut into eight pieces. So then Mariana would cut it in half. She would cut it in half again. And then she cuts it in one more on the bottom. Well, could she cut it in eighths? Yeah. So there's four pieces. What am I going to have to do? Cut it one more time. Cut it one more time? Twice. Two more times. Two more times. And this might break the law of actually halves, but it's only because I bought muffin top bread. Okay, so how many pieces are they each going to get now? Four. One, two, three, four. So now Mariana gets four eighths and Emiliano gets four, four eighths. Did they still get the same amount? Yes. yes. Did the amount change? No. Did the slices size change? Yes. Did the number of pieces that they would get change? Yes. But did the amount ever change? No. So are you telling me that one half, what does that sign mean? Equals. And equals means the same. The same. So if one half is the same as two fourths, yeah. Yeah. is that what you're telling me? Are they getting the same amount if they have one half or two fourths? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Cesar, what do you think? Yes or no? If she has one piece of bread and she has half, is that the same amount? Here's Mariana's and here's Mariana's. Is she getting the same amount? Yes. No matter how many pieces I'm cutting it into. Okay, give me another same as or equal. Four eighths. Four eighths. Four eighths. I've got another one. What? Eight sixteenths. So you're telling me I could also cut it into 16 pieces mm -hmm. and she would get eight and Emiliana would get eight? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's my question. If, um, if Mariana was feeling particularly like um, a bossy big sister or a mean big sister, and she said, Emiliana, you can have eight sixteenths or one half. What do you want to have? Yeah, Does it matter? No, it's both because it's the equal. same. They are equal. Another word would be equivalent. Equivalent It's an equivalent fraction. Do they look different? Yes. Yes, because we're cutting our sandwich or our cakes into more pieces. But the amount is staying exactly the same. same. Okay, here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you, if you are finished working through, I want you to get a piece of paper and do your I'm thinking. That I'm thinking needs to include the model that you used. You need to draw your picture, okay? I want you to use, if you did several, pick one as your example. I want you to draw out the math models that you used. I also want you to use your arguments to reason. I know that it's a, and I want you also to use this word. Instead of saying counting by, they're what? Multiples. Multiples. Are they factors? No. No, they're not factors. Remember, a factor times a factor equals, equals a product. It's a factory. Factor times a factor equals a product. So we're working on multiples. Multiples of three and two. Okay. 
Okay. Multiples of two. <sighs> Multiples of two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We're going off. Oh, this hair is not still working. That's okay. Do I want you to quit working and start writing down your thinking if you're not ready? No. No, because I want you to have the time to finish thinking about this. If you have already found the pattern and you already know what's going on, what do I want you to do? Think right. Start writing your thinking down. If you are still stuck and you need some more time to move things around, what do I want you to do? Keep, Keep working. Raise your hand if you should feel any kind of embarrassed about that. Raise your hand if you should feel any kind of proud of your own self because you're faster than someone else. Should be happening. Okay, go to your desk and work on what you need to work on right now. If you have a question, I want you to raise your hand.